So is the Milky Way really capturable in a light polluted sky? Well we all know that the Milky Way is actually really good looking in a dark sky site like this one. This is the Black Forest Star Party in Pennsylvania. As you can see this is a lot of detail on the Milky Way that I captured, but in a light polluted sky how does that compare? Well I'm gonna tell you, not very well. So as you might know the Black Forest Star Party is a Bortle 2 sky. Right here, this picture of the Milky Way is a Bortle 5 sky from the Akron Astronomy Club. The Akron Astronomy Club is a much more light polluted sky than the Black Forest Star Party, obviously, as a Bortle 5 is much worse than a Bortle 2. And, but to compare it to a Bortle 7 8, this is what I got with a Bortle 7 8. Much, much worse. And these are pretty heavily edited, so these should actually look pretty good. You would think. So there's a few problems with photographing the Milky Way in light pollution. The first being that, well, you're not going to get as much detail and exposure time as quickly as you would like in a dark sky like a Bortle 2. In a Bortle 8, for instance, you're going to get like maybe, they say, the, the general rule is 1 hours in a dark sky site equals 10 hours in like a light polluted site, which is actually, if I in my case, would be pretty accurate. Yeah, that, that just goes to show you're going to have to have a lot more integration time to get the Milky Way in a light polluted site. But that's not the only problem with photographing the Milky Way in a light polluted site. You also have the problem of those gradients. Oh, and if you're enjoying this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more videos like this one. And those are painful to remove. Maybe in like deep sky objects are not as bad because you're zoomed in a lot. So there's not as much fluctuation between the gradients. But when you're doing a the, like the Milky Way, you're much more zoomed out in wide field. So you're gonna see a lot more gradients of light pollution, which is gonna be a lot harder to remove in post-processing. And in dark sight, things are so much easier and so much quicker. So if you have like maybe Bortle 5 skies around, I'd say that's like the best starting point is a Bortle 5. If you have Bortle 5 skies around, then I'd definitely start going to those and see the difference. When I was photographing in light pollution, because I had no dark skies around at all near me. So when I started photographing in light pollution, it was horrible. I mean, I couldn't see hardly anything. I, I learned the techniques to kind of remove the background and everything. Didn't look the way I wanted to, but when I got out to a dark site, everything changed. It was just like instant, much, much, much better. So, and that was the only time I really experienced a Bortle 2. In the Milky Way, just in case you're wondering, the Milky Way does not look anything like it does on the cameras. It's a lot dimmer, even in a Bortle 2, like by the eye, but it still looks really good. You can actually see it overhead, it's much more prevalent. You can see like almost really bright overhead. Thanks for watching and clear skies.